This is Megan Ayers for AutoFry. Today we're talking about the new ICOE combination belt and disc sander. This is a step up from the popular ICOE belt sander because it also has a 3 inch disc sander as well as a fixed center mounted arbor for 3 32nd inch mandrels, which is basically like having a fixed handpiece holder for your flex shaft. Pretty cool if you ask me. Now let's go over how to set it up so you can get started at the bench. First, you can attach the clamp to a flat area on your bench. I like to use my bench pin, but you can also use the side of your bench or a sturdy work table. Once you have the clamp secured, you can attach the sander. You'll notice a hole for the sander to slide onto the clamp, and once you get the desired height, you can tighten it with the knob on the clamp. Now let's go over the rest of the attachments. This sander comes with a flexible arm that has an acrylic tube on the end to position near your dust collector. To attach the flexible arm, you can tilt the sander downwards so that you're looking at the back. You'll see two screw holes that align with the plate on the end of the flexible arm. Screw them in and you're almost ready to go. Next, let's talk about the disc sander. You will need to cut your own discs from a PSA adhesive backed abrasive sheet. The dimensions are three inches with a half inch center hole. Pre-cut sanding sheets will be available in the future, but for now, we'll have to cut our own, which is pretty quick and easy. Here's how. The easiest and most consistent way to cut the 3 inch disc with a half inch hole is to score the sheet with dividers before cutting with scissors. For the small center hole, I find it difficult to cut with scissors, so I like to use an X-Acto knife. This is much easier to control the small area. Now you're ready to cut the exterior of the circle with scissors. It's always a good idea to keep a dedicated abrasive pair of scissors because they will dull over time when cutting sandpaper. Once you have it all cut out, you can peel the clear film from the back of the sheet and adhere it to the plastic disc. Use firm pressure all around the disc to make sure every part is adhered. I do this before attaching it to the sander so you don't have to worry about working around the fixed arbor. If you have any loose ends, you can also touch that up with the X-Acto knife. Before attaching the disc sander, we want to attach our ruby belt to the belt sander. Start loosening the center screw so that the middle spool is mobile. Before attaching the ruby belt, make sure the arrow is pointing in the correct direction. This will be pointing towards the back of the sander. Now we're ready to tighten that middle screw, and when I do this, I'm putting a little bit of pressure on that center spool to keep the belt tight. Finish by tightening with the hex key provided in the kit. Now let's talk about that fixed tool arbor. Use these two keys provided to tighten and loosen the arbor. Once it's loose, you're able to add your 3 32nd inch shaft mandrel. I'll be adding a medium satin finishing buff because I like to go from the rough sander right to the scotch bright. If you'll be using the disc sander and the fixed arbor together, you can also tighten it by hand. Next, we're going to take the hand rest and screw it to the back of the sander. Choose your desired angle and tighten the side screw. After removing the hand piece for your flex shaft, pull the metal sheath back on the sander and insert the key tip into the sander. Now we're ready to roll. One way I love to use this sander is to even out my wax ring tubes after sawing pieces off. As you know, spiral wax blades don't leave the nicest finish, so this is a quick way to get a true and crisp edge. When I cut my ring blank from the wax tube, I can go back to the sander to even out the other side. Instead of going right to my saw frame, I can rough out the shape for my wax ring between the belt sander and the disc sander as well. With the help of some hand tools after, it's ready to be cast. You'll notice the wax buildup on the sandpaper, so I like to keep a brass brush handy to clean it out as I work. Cleaning up bezels after soldering is another great job for this sander. This will significantly cut down on your hand filing time. The metal bar on top of the belt sander is a great straight edge to use. Now I'm ready to go to my medium satin finishing buff. To make sure I'm working in the proper direction of my buff, I can either switch my flex shaft motor's direction or I can rotate the sander. Now I can give the bezel a nice satin finish. Thanks for watching this video on the ICOE combination belt and disc sander. Get yours at autofry.com.